and welcome to the 158th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Brucker, and I'm coming to you live today here from Casa de Brucker, where we're going to be having another outstanding beer. Today, we're going to be having the Guinness, but it's no normal Guinness. This is the gingerbread spiced stout, which is also bourbon barrel aged. So very exciting time to have this beer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get it pouring and we'll talk about it as we go. Now, all these specialty Guinnesses are actually made here in the United States, unlike, you know, a lot of the Guinnesses, you know, obviously from Ireland, but this is made in Maryland. Um, so, uh, the brewery there opened, I believe, in 1997, and they produce about 60 different beers from the looks of things. I kind of did some investigating because I know about a few of the beers, but I didn't know about a lot of the different ones that they're making. And they make also a uh, one of these that's just a, a bourbon barrel aged, but this is, you get the best of both worlds. So, as you see, you get that reddish brown color. You get a little bit of off white head there that uh, looks like it's holding. We'll kind of swirl it around here. We'll see how the, uh, um, the doesn't have, you know, the, the legs or, you know, the, the normal where it sticks to the glass like I would normally expect. Um, but um, let's, let's talk about the smell and talk about the beer. Okay, first of all, it's rated 90 out of 100, so it's rated as an outstanding beer, and I was expecting no, nothing less of Guinness, because they make some very good beers. Um, the beer, this beer is their strongest of their 60 beers. It clocks in at 11% alcohol. Of course, I'm going to search out and find the highest boozy content beer I can find, right, because that's what I do. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, it's made with um, all allspice. Um, ginger, um, cinnamon, and uh, nutmeg. Which they add all those in for the flavor. Now when I smell it, I smell right off the bat, I smell the ginger, like like a, a real crisp gingerbread cookie, like a real, that, uh, it's not like overpowering, but I get that scent of the ginger just right off the bat from the gingerbread cookies. And then I do smell a light, uh, bourbon smell and that's from the bourbon barrel aging so after they make this beer this imperial stout they call it an imperial stout um usually imperial stouts can be a little bit darker than this so um but anyway they call it an imperial stout and uh they age it for eight months in the bourbon barrels so it, it, you know it's got a pretty solid amount of uh of bourbon in there and uh just a funny coincidence of, of the story. They built the Guinness factory on a, uh, a, an old, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, distillery. That's right. I think of the word distillery. They, uh, the, actually, one of the oldest distilleries uh, around that was actually the first distillery opened after Prohibition in 1934. So just a little bit of useless beer knowledge. They took this old distillery and that's where they built the Guinness factory. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and let's dig into this beer, okay? Instead of talking about useless beer knowledge, right? Uh, uh. Now, if you don't like a, like a, ginger or gingerbread um this might not be the beer for you because it does have a pronounced taste of gingerbread um now i like gingerbread and i don't think they overdid the gingerbread in here um i've had another one that i had this year there was a stout that i felt that they way way overdid the gingerbread to, to where you didn't even enjoy the beer this one i think they got they've got a nice balance I still don't really recognize it, you know, uh, to me it doesn't taste like a stout, but at 11%, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's a, it's a nice boozy beer. Mm. And I do get 
a vanilla type flavor in there and maybe some molasses. It almost tastes like molasses. So that might be something that they put in there. Um, it didn't say it, but I almost feel like I'm tasting some uh, molasses in there. Um, now, there is a pronounced flavor from the eight months of the aging in the bourbon barrels that you can actually clearly uh, distinguish that bourbon in there. And I just happen to be a fan of bourbon also. I mean, I talk about beer all the time, but if I'm not drinking beer, a lot of times it's either, you know, bourbon or, uh, I do enjoy wine too, but um, mainly mainly beer is my thing. But uh, I, love, I love bourbon and I love bourbon in beer. That, that's kind of like a winning proposition for me. Mm. The name of that distillery was the Calvert Distillery uh, there in Maryland, uh, where they built the the uh, the Guinness factory. Now, you see, there's other Guinness glasses here. Um, some of these came from the brewery in Ireland. Uh, in particular, this one, this one. And I believe this one, all, all three of those, I believe, came from Ireland. So this one, I actually, which is a really cool glass, I earned this from drinking Guinness at a, a bar in Sanford. And if you, you know, they had a special night, if you drink Guinness, you got uh, a glass. And I thought this kind of uh, uh, completed my selection here of, of the Guinness glasses. So I at least had, I like to have four if I can. But as you've seen throughout the time, I have beer glass issues behind beyond beer issues. If you ask my wife, she'll tell you. She uh, She's no longer amused with my collection of beer glasses. It's gotten kind of out of hand. Um, but anyway, um, great beer. Um, not something you're gonna sit around by the pool. 11% this is a sipper. Something you might have around a campfire, it'd be great. Or just in the evening, sitting around relaxing. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. So anyway, I, I'm going to agree with the rating. I think 90 is spot on. I think it's outstanding. I don't, I don't, wouldn't put it in the world class, um, uh, but a very solid, solid beer. Um, so definitely if you see it, um, it's a little pricey, um, but it's a once a year thing. You, it'll probably come out every year around Christmas time. So grab it then and uh, enjoy it because, uh, you know, it's a once a year seasonal type beer. Um, I just happen to have some left over from Christmas. Uh, I, this isn't my first time having it, obviously, um, which most beers aren't. I, I try and have, uh, have them, you know, before I do a beer issues. Uh, or if I do it and I haven't had the beer, then I, I can, you know, clearly, you know, still talk about the beer because I know about the style or whatever. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're having talking about beer and drinking great beers like this uh, fine Guinness uh, gingerbread uh, stout, okay? And uh, if you uh, want any cool gear, like uh, beer issues gear, you can get shirts, hats, t-shirts, uh, phone cases, whatever you want at shop.beerissues.com. Before I uh, take off here, I gotta show you my latest shirt here. I don't know if you can see it, but it does say, uh, I wonder if beer is thinking about me too, okay? And that's very fitting for me because I do think about beer quite a bit and I always wonder if beer is thinking about me also. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues. <laughs>